Let's review the Garmin Venue Square. This is the slate aluminum bezel with the shadow gray case. And let me tell you, this watch does not disappoint. It weighs only 37.6 grams. The battery life lasts up to six days if it's in smartwatch mode. It has durable Gorilla Glass, so it's built for those physical activities. You can easily switch up the band depending on whatever you want to wear. And it does have a five ATM swim rating. Now I know that's a lot to throw at you at once, but this is just some of the features that this watch has. Taking a look at the watch itself, it is very sleek. I love how it looks. The band is very lightweight and the screen is very discreet, but it's large enough to still be able to control what you want to do on it. Taking a look at the back, these are the sensors that track your heart rate and all the other activities you do. On the side, we really have an action button and a home button. This is a smartwatch, so whenever you flip it toward you, the timer does come on. And taking a look at the action button, if we click it once, we can click whatever activity we want to do, whether it's run, treadmill, bike, walk. I mean, there is a bunch of exercises on here. Let's say, for instance, that we want to track our walking. We'll click walk. Whenever the GPS connects, it will begin. And here we can track our time, our distance, our pace. If we scroll down, we can check our steps, our calories. If we go further down, we can check our heart rate. Now taking a look at our watch, we can go back to the top. If we want to lap, like let's say we're walking wraps, laps around a track, we can click the bottom button to do a lap. Just like that, lap one is done. We can see our time and we'll move on to lap two. If we want to stop, we'll go ahead and click the action button at the top and it will stop. And the cool thing about this watch is that you can actually keep or discard the activity that you performed. Obviously, I'll discard this one because I didn't actually do it. And just like that, we can discard it from the watch. Or we can keep it and go back and look at our saved activities. Now back on the home screen, if we go ahead and hold the home button, which is the bottom one, this is how we can change our background of our watch, the clocks, we can go into the history of all of our activities to track, and we can even go into settings to mess with widgets, controls, shortcuts, and many other things. Now going back to the main screen, this is something I really love about this watch, is we can start instantly scrolling up or down, and we can see our daily progress. Here's our steps. We can keep going down to see heart rate, stress level, body battery, and even respiration. As we continue to scroll down, we can see the history over the past seven days. That is our heart rate being measured. This is our stress level being measured. And this is really cool. We can even track our hydration, which is super important. And as we continue to scroll down, when you have your phone connected, you can connect your calendar, you can check the weather, you can even see your messages here on your watch. And, and lastly, we can pause and play or skip our music, whatever we're listening to. And then we're back at the main screen. Overall, I really love this watch. I love how versatile it is. And for the value, you can't really beat that. So if you're looking for a smartwatch that can track many different activities while also having connectivity to your phone, I would highly recommend giving this one a shot.